Good morning, beautiful Saggies. Look at guys, look at this heaven on earth. I keep hearing heaven on earth, finding your heaven on earth, being at peace, being tranquil. Something is big changing for you, Sagittarius. Let's see what kind of goddess divine feminine energies goddess energies are around you sagittarius what uh, about saggy the mystic of divine love love is divine and i am nothing except love the warrior saint I am a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Mm. Spirit is sending you energies, supportive energies. Mm. The presence of the divine feminine as the center of everything, there is light. And I am that light. Yes, you are. So there's no question in my mind that uh, you're a mystic of divine love, the warrior saint, and the divine feminine energies. Many of you, Sagittarius, it's this heaven on earth reaching a plateau in your life, spirit saying, I don't know why I'm saying that, but I'm going to go with what spirit says. Sagittarian energy, what kind of energies? are around Sagittarius at this current time, Spirit. What does Saggy uh, need to? Huh? Spirit saying, relax. Make time to love of self. You know what? Ah, so definitely you were here to give someone or people a reality check getting real with yourself embodying that divine feminine energy mm, you're shining spirit is telling you to be open up to change maybe you're sent here to change mindsets maybe you your light is shining so bright Sagittarius that you are making people realize that they can change i'm hearing you've changed yourself you're open to change you're shining you're in the most positive energies the last few days that i've ever seen for sagittarius it's not yet time. Things are being woven. Hmm. You are a child of the cosmos. You have the intelligence of the universe that is laying within you. Hmm. I will say the void. Stop. Embrace this winter. Ah, it's planting a new seed inside this. You know, that's what the divine feminines do. They take the seed even though it seems void and bring it into fruition you know there's this little speck no matter how little it may seem <laughs> it's gonna grow sagittarius you have a double mission here you could be a light worker and a star seed. And you may be serving the world by just being you. One of the golden children. Tenderness, innocence, you have rare gifts, Sag. Oh my good Lord, have mercy. You got a double mission here, Sagittarius. You could be a light worker and a star seed. So when people look at Sagittarius and they go, oh my God, Sagittarius has had so many battle wounds. 
Some people get turned off by that, but they don't realize that you have a greater mission. And those people who get the heaviest burdens usually have the greatest missions. And this is clearly saying that you do a double mission. Mm. Sagittarian energy. The crystal skull, I'm telling you, you know. You have clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy. It's like, you remember that movie? Now, what was it? The crystal skull that was in that movie was, I don't know if that was, guys, put it in the comments. I'm not sure if it was the Raiders of the Lost Ark or if it was, remember that, uh, I forget the movie. And they were seeking the crystal skull. That is divine intelligence, divine wisdom. Not everybody can handle that energy. Not everybody is meant to see these things, Sagittarius. Mm. It's only for the brave, the strong, and the ones that were appointed to see these visions. Oh my goodness. What is this? Abundance, downloads, regeneration, and success. Oh, yeah. You could have a lot of, oh my God, memories of Atlanta, spiritual acceleration and progress and technologies. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes, the Atlanteans had this divine intelligence, but not everybody was allowed to access it. Star being healing code, see? Important information, wounds are being healed, you're recharging. The Holy Grail, what can I say? Finding sacredness, you are what you seek. You have it all within you. This is the Holy Grail. Woo, the sword of light. Divine protection. Cords are being cut. Breakthrough energy. <laughs> yeah, it's not meant for everybody. Sagittarius, these powers, this insight, this, you see things before other people see them. It's not meant for everybody to know these things. And if um, certain people come into your life that are trying to destroy this mission that you're on, spirit will cut them out of your life. If they try to dull your light, if they try to put your light flame out, <laughs> spirit's like, uh-uh. -uh. No, 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 no. This has to be brought into fruition. Sagittarius has a double mission. <laughs> a light worker and a starseed's mission. <laughs> yep, surrender. <laughs> A spiritual partnership. Hmm. You may have had to surrender your spiritual partnership. Take a time out, a step back. Because somebody had to um, complete a karmic completion. Hmm. This goes deep if I want it to, but I don't want it to. I just want to keep it light here because not everybody is supposed to know. Spirit is clearly saying that somebody is on a timeout. Maybe you were in a karmic relationship from the, from the past and maybe this person is. 
Hmm. Patience. You hold this sort of truth. Hmm. It's King of Love. Surrendered a spiritual partnership to complete some kind of karmic cycle. Oh, see? Whoa, you are a spiritual warrior. You embody this divine feminine energy, whether you're a masculine or feminine. They hurt you. Instead of offering you something is going on here, Sag. They offered you very little. Some kind of gift. It's a legacy. You are chosen. You are chosen, Sag. To birth this communication, this idea that is bringing you in a lot of wealth. Ah. This is somebody who cut out their true love. This King of Wands is looking at the King of Swords. Somebody betrayed this King of Wands here. Or maybe they were s s like... Somebody told this person... They're keeping them from you. They were. They were blocking this person from coming toward you. Blocking out the past or denying something. How was this? Somebody wanted to steal this opportunity. Steal somebody's blessings. Steal somebody's high honor. Uh. So it's not even on your part, Sag. This is all about someone else. Somebody wanting to steal, have a victory. Oh, this is leading them to, to the Ten of Wands. This is ascension. This is a spiritual union. Somebody is trying to steal somebody's uh, uh, blessings. Hiding things. Deception. Hmm. Somebody was like paying somebody money to leave. They were. Some thief was actually paying somebody money to make them leave you. This person is stressing out. This person is having sleepless nights, insomnia about you. Because somebody, it's about a home. 
it's about somebody robbing somebody of a home. This person is stuck in a karmic cycle. Karmic completion. They had to complete a karmic cycle with someone. So it's almost like somebody was paying somebody some money to steal somebody's home or property or something like that. Their blessings. Patience, Saj. Yeah. It's almost like this person is stuck in a karmic cycle. Instead of completing it, they had to end it. This is a karmic completion. You know? They were supposed to end a karmic cycle and complete something. But somebody paid somebody some kind of money here, Saj, to make this person go in a different direction. They're a thief. Mm. So there is a karmic masculine involved here, a king of swords, paying somebody some kind of money. It's like holding something over somebody's head. Uh. This person is facing judgment. Oh, because they should have ended things with this other lover. They should have rejected them. They should have worked on this spiritual partnership instead. They should have, they were judging you, your spirituality. Maybe somebody was working behind the scenes here. This is the truth and clarity. Huh. Ah, ha, 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 ha. here comes that. Mm -hmm. Somebody was manipulating this person into leaving you. May have been doing some kind of magic to put them in this player energy to cause them to mistrust you. This is someone that was not, I don't know what this is. There's another feminine involved here against you, Saj. Somebody was spying on you at what you do for your work or on your career. Someone got jealous of you, jealous of this emperor. Ooh. Somebody was holding a grudge against this emperor. It could have been um, a spouse who they used to be with before they were with you. This is a spouse causing this person some kind of revenge or grudge here. Grudge match because something ended. And somebody is feeling guilty. It is this king of love. Oh, they regret something. They're holding something, guilting this person. <sighs> As karma. Ooh, so maybe spirit. <clears throat> Saj, maybe the universe told you to end this cycle with this person 
take a time out from this person because they have some karma from a past, from their past or a past life that they needed to complete. There is a lot of guilt and shame here. There is a lot of regret here. So maybe someone's getting even on this emperor and spirit says you will not affect my um, Sagittarians. It's not their karma. It's not their burden. Holy crap. It could be to do with Oh, yeah, someone was blocking this connection. It's someone in their own family. There is some kind of ghosting energy. There, it's a friend. A friend of the family or something. Huh. What? It's because this union is so powerful. Oh, somebody is like, yeah, they were supposed to complete a karmic cycle. This is lack. This is sickness. This is depression, sickness, fighting, arguing, challenges, obstacles, a friend. Hmm. Hmm. A friend of theirs. Or someone they thought was a friend. There was some injustice done here. Avoiding something or giving some kind of legal defense. Trying to avoid going to court. Somebody stole something. They were dealing with some kind of thief. Spirit says use the sword. Cut. <clears throat> Now tell me, Spirit, what is... I did... Yeah, you had a double mission, man. You're regenerating. You're being successful. But there is something I'm missing here. Where is that sword? Hang on here, guys. No spirit saying get that sword. Mm. I don't know where it went. Oh, right in front of my face, of course. The Sword of Light. Divine Protection. Ha. Spirit used this sword or told you to use this sword. Cut this person out of your life because why? You would have acquired their karmic debt. They got to pay their own karma. This person... 
is under some kind of judgment or this friend of the family or these family members, their karmic family members or friends that got to face their judgment. Karma. They were told to use the sword, cut out this, I don't know, somebody's stealing. So I don't, they were paying someone to steal something, like a house. It's all about a house. It's all about a freaking house. So maybe they did something underhanded. I don't know. Or their ex of theirs and the ex's family was doing something underhanded, like paying people money to steal a house. A theft of a house. Somebody did something underhanded, and had you not used the sword to cut this relationship out, you would have inherited their karmic debt, Spirit is saying. So trust the universe. Spirit wouldn't allow this Holy Grail to be affected. They will protect this Holy Grail. Why is this Raiders of the Lost Ark and the Covenant coming into my mind? Like the Crystal Skull. This is Divine Intelligence. There's something going on way bigger than my pay grade. I just know you have a you've been chosen for a double mission. You are the golden children who have rare gifts of divine intelligence, of foresight, of seeing, of visionaries. No. Oh. Somebody was paying some kind of spiritualist or to try, oh my God, God. So somebody knew who you were, like they knew you had rare gifts. They knew you were going to get this divine mission or this divine intelligence. They were snooping, paying a spiritualist to snoop on you. They were told that this was a higher mission. They were told that the, these are rare gifts. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And someone tried to steal those gifts. They did. It's theft, theft, theft. This friend of theirs knew <coughs> that this person was going to inherit a lot of money or inherit these gifts by being with you. So they actually paid somebody they're a karmic and it was a grudge against your person. <laughs> There is some kind of legal theft going on or something like that. Oh my God. I don't know. Maybe it's something they... This friend is not a friend. They could even be family. This is a karmic family or a karmic friend or both who conspired against this person to steal... Some kind of theft, robbery, like an actual theft of a house.
Well, they've acquired some pretty heavy judgment for doing whatever they did. They've got a lot of negative karma. That's why you are not with this person. You have a double mission. You are a warrior saint. And whoever this is went and got some tarot card reader or some spiritualist to unveil uh, some, they were told this is a divine union or that this is a major mission that, and somebody tried to deliberately mess up this person's mission. Hmm. It is a friend of theirs spying through spiritualism or through tarot to find out, hey, hey, what's this person's future look like? And the tarot card reader may have said, you know, well, this is their future. This is their future together. And this person's like, oh, no, oh, no, 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 that ain't going to happen. using some kind of so this friend of theirs went and got some kind of tarot card readings done saw the future of you two together and what your missions were what is the purpose I don't know what questions they asked something like that and the tarot card reader told them oh they have a big mission this is what they're destined to have this is what and this one gets jealous of the the Of the masculine. Mm. Which is why it's incredibly important at this time, Sagittarius, to be super, super careful of new energies entering your life at this time. I'm not trying to uh, say that every person is going to be uh, nasty toward you because that's not the truth but when you are the holy grail and you hold these keys and these codes and have access to this information know you're always going to be in battle but you have divine intelligence you already know that Somebody may have paid this practitioner or spiritualist to do some kind of spell work like blocking this person's vision, uh, causing them to not see clearly. It's all because someone wanted to steal uh their blessings or steal a home or steal this mission <laughs> block them from you Hmm. See, this was promised to you. 
These are your gifts. Star Seed. High Honor. Respect, Honor, Integrity. High Honor, High Ranking, Star Seeds. This person. Betrayal. Oh, whoever done this is getting karma. It's destined for you. Destined for you. Oh. And they leapt right into the karmic trap. Gonna wrap up a cycle there. Yes, it is. Oh, Jesus. Poverty. High honor. Sword of truth. What's going on here? Somebody was paying someone. Somebody paid someone. King. Packages. Jealousy. Win it all costs. Saji, patience. Cause mistrust. Cause this person to mistrust you. And they're all stressed out and hurt. Jealousy. That's sort of truth. That divine intelligence. End this conflict. End this nightmare. Double mission. I'm telling you right now. A friend. Paying this person to make an offer. Bankruptcy, of sickness, of lack. To reject you? This is betrayal. Whoever this energy is, is... Patient, Saj, this person is grieving. They are reminiscent, feeling guilty about something that they did. Blocking, 
fear, entrapment, ghosting, it's family. Jesus. Family burdens, fears, things that are hidden. Fear, untrust. This person Hmm. Somebody is just getting greedy here. Stealing again. Pinching their pennies. Theft. I don't know if this is a karmic brother. I don't know what the hell is stealing a home. Somebody's getting greedy here. Somebody is stealing a home. Stealing somebody's uh, finances. Just, that's why spirit cut it off. There's too much dirt going on here. There's too much. You're not supposed to be entertaining energies like that, Saji. I don't know. Don't like it. Uh, that's why spirit has severed this. This person is acquiring some kind of karma. <clears throat> heavy karma for whatever they did. There's some theft. There's some greed here. There is something going on that I'm not supposed to delve into because I've tried twice and I'm being blocked. So I'm not going there. Not today. It'll come out when it's meant to come out. Someone is like paid someone to end this relationship. Okay? Because, yeah, because you would have been too freaking powerful, man. Ugh. They're getting all this through tarot. People spying on people and stuff through tarot. So this person may have learned through the tarot that this was a divine partnership, that this was... A divine union that you you were going to inherit some major money I don't know this person acted as if they were a friend to your person they're not a friend they're an enemy in disguise and found out gained access to knowledge oh yes this is divine partnership and somebody was jealous of your person I was going to try and take them down until they had a fall because they would have been jealous of them. They wanted to be above them, wanted to be superior to them somehow. They are a karmic. So they may have arranged for your person to meet a karmic just so they could take them down. This person owes you a huge, huge apology. This is a friend they should not have trusted. Okay? This friend caused this person um to reject you. This is the friend. King of Swords is the friend who was speaking out against you. Maybe they wanted you for themselves, Saj. They were paying.
paying to stress this person out, paying someone to have this person in this nine of sword energy. Paying for them to be in this energy. Trust. It's all about their finances. Something they feel guilty about this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to know no more. I'm just trusting the universe. We'll leave it up to spirit to figure this one out. It's beyond me. It is. It's beyond me. I'm not supposed to reveal it. So I'm not going to. <laughs> Anything that important. There are just some things that should not be revealed through tarot. Because you don't know who is taking that information. So you know what? I'm listening to my guides. I just know. That spirit is blessing my beautiful Sajis. And nobody can take that away. And without it backfiring on them. There are just some things us tarot card readers are not supposed to be revealed. And especially if, like, say, for example, that's a large part of the reason I don't do personal reads anymore. Like, I don't know, a lot of you guys watch me even on my live reads. And I can sense when there's karmic energy around who we're not, I'm not supposed to reveal certain things at certain times. And I'm just trusting my intuition and it's kicking in right now. So I'm listening. Like it's nice to give you guys the heads up on what's going on but not at the expense of revealing things to the enemies. <laughs> and if you have this divine wisdom anyway, you know that, and you know certain things are not meant to be revealed until they're meant to be revealed. Yep. I just know if these goddesses, these uh, energies are present around you, Sagittarius, you don't have a darn thing to worry about. Nothing. Nothing. And that's what I'm concerned about. My Sagis, I'm not concerned about um, these other energies. I'm really not. What's meant to be will be. And spirit's protecting you. So if spirit's got your back, you've got nothing to worry about. Hmm. And if you were with a karmic energy... You were asked to surrender it to bring you in something better. I just know that it's not all cut and dry here for every Saggy. And I do know that the person who betrayed, betrayed you feels guilty that they know what they did, but there's some kind of karmic debt this person has to pay. So 
so that's what I do know. Sag, good luck. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. This is heaven on earth. You can make your heaven or you can make your hell. And spirit is obviously saying, Sagittarius, this is your sanctuary. This is your heaven on earth. Enjoy every, every minute of it. It's all, all coming into fruition exactly the way it is intended to. Wow, that's a heavy one for me today, but that's all I'm supposed to give you on this. So guys, enjoy your day. Enjoy your heaven on earth. Your own little sanctuary, whatever it is, wherever it is, spirits got your back. Take care, Saggy.